Slack versus Asana versus Trello. Today, we're going to be comparing all these project management softwares and we're going to be discussing their features, their price points and their overall dashboards. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at these project management softwares and let's get started with Slack. So this is the main page of Slack and it's very easy to sign up on any of these project management softwares. It doesn't take a lot. You just have to add your email or link it to your Google account and your account will be created. And then we have Asana. Asana also has a free version and paid versions and Asana is something that is probably more popular than Slack. I think Slack is the least popular in terms of uh, general popularity of project management softwares. And then we have Trello. So Trello is very popular in the project management industry and a lot of people do opt for Trello as their first project manager. But we're going to take a general look at all of these softwares and I'm going to show you guys how each of their dashboards look and what kind of features are they going to be providing for the price that you're going to pay. So starting off with Slack. So if you create your account on Slack, this is their basic dashboard and you can see we're on the marketing section. So we can create different sections. If we want a new section, we're going to create a new one and you will have your different DMs, reactions, uh, saved items, connections, uh, channel browser, file browser, people and user groups and apps over here in the browse Slack section. And then in your marketing, you can add people, you can create a channel within this specific group, and then you can set preferences, you have your general settings, and you have your tools. Now, the big flaw that I have seen in Slack is it doesn't have any draft templates. So on both Asana and Trello, there are templates that you can just use and you're set up, you know, you apply those templates, fill in your personal information, your business information, and you're ready to go. With Slack, you're going to have to do that all on your own. So Slack is more like a combination between Discord and a general project management software. I think it merges both of these concepts together. Overall, it's good. From here, you're going to add your teammates. You can add them from your Google suite or you can just add them by whatever their email is. You can add different channels. So if you're on a marketing, you know, a project, then you're probably going to have your analytics channel going to have analytics and you can add a description. You can also make your channel public or private depending on the people that you add. So if it's like a CEO kind of group, then you can only add the CEOs and you can make it private. So general employees don't join that chat. And just like that, you're going to create one. And here you have your new channel. So this is just the general look at Slack. Now we're going to move on to Asana. So this is the homepage of Asana. This is going to be your dashboard. And I think it looks a whole lot more appealing than um, Slack. And it has a good color scheme. It has good samples. So this is your home screen. And on the left, you can see your own personal tasks, anything that has been assigned to you. And it's listed. You can see it in board. You can see it in a calendar form or just the files. You also have your inbox reporting portfolios and your general goals that you have set. And Asana is a very goal based you know project management software so it really tracks if your goals are being met if your productivity is what you were expecting if the general workflow is being completed on due dates so it focuses more on goals and the accomplishment of goals however Trello focuses more on the individual person now if you take a look at Asana on the left, if you scroll down, you can see your different channels that you have joined. So first off, we have our sales. Now you can see this is such a wonderful looking board. You have your overview, your list, your board view, timeline view, calendar view, dashboard, and other messages, forms, and files. Everything you need to know. You have your to-do list, your doing list, you're done. Then you also have like sales planning and so on and so forth. And this is just a template that I applied from Asana. This isn't my own board. I just uh, applied the general template from Asana and you can just add whatever kind of template you need. So let's just go on home and you can see these are your projects and you're just going to click on new project and you're going to click on use a template. And from here, you can pick any kind of template that you want. So let's say you're working on a new hire checklist for managers. So you're trying to hire an employee. You're just going to apply this template. I'm just going to create this. And there you have it. You have such a wonderful little 
uh, project runner for your new hiring position. And this is going to simplify everything. It's going to add a few example tasks and you can just edit these. So let's just say we're going to change this to buy new laptop. And you can see the general look of Asana is a whole lot more appealing. The color scheme is better than Slack. It, it looks a bit more easier to use. It's less boring and less tiring to look at. Now, moving on to Trello. Well, Trello is also a great project manager. You can see they also provide templates. So we're just going to take a look at the templates. They, there are a lot of different templates that are available on Trello. You have business, design, education, engineering. So whatever industry you're working on, Trello probably has a template for you. So let's just say we are working on sales. And now Trello is searching for all sales related templates. And you can see these different kinds of templates that are available for the same category. So Trello is really good on providing a, a vast variety to get started. So the learning curve for Trello is probably the lowest compared to Slack or Asana. With Asana, it's pretty low too, but with Slack, you're going to have a very large learning curve. Now, let's just say we are doing a retail sales pipeline. And just like that, we're going to click on use template. We can add our workspace and we're going to create. And now you can see your retail sales pipeline has been added. This is the board view. You have different views. You have your uh, timeline views, table views, calendar views, and all that as well. But you will have to purchase the premium plan for Trello for those kinds of views. Now you can see this is a very appealing look. Their template is usually very nice. It's easy to work with. And if you can take a look at their automation you can actually automate a lot of stuff on trello so you can create rules so if someone adds a file to pending maybe if someone else adds another file to it it's automatically going to move on to on special order or something like that so that's going to really help your goals be defined and set so if you have a large team maybe you're working in uh, it and one person is going to do the initial thing the second person is going to do the second thing and so on and so forth they can just move their project like this that you can just add their work and the project will move itself they won't have to you know deal with operating all of this project management uh, then you also have your menu so you can change the background you can change the overall look of this board you can customize it to your business needs now at last we're going to compare the pricing on all three of these management softwares so first off you have asana and asana offers a free version but there is a huge limitation on asana is that you can only collaborate with up to 15 team members but uh, working on one project, uh, it can be pretty extensive. Uh, you might have to add more people as time goes on. So you have to keep in consideration if you're looking to use the free version of these softwares, how many people are present in your team. So if your team is under 15 people, go for Asana because it's very good. You can do unlimited tasks, unlimited projects. You can have unlimited messages, activity logs. You get 100 MBs of storage per file. You also get list views, board views, calendar views, assignees and due dates, project overview, project brief. And you can also use these project management softwares on Android and iOS. So it's going to be easy for you to navigate and you won't have to open up your PC or laptop every time. Now, you also get over a hundred free integrations on Asana, which is pretty impressive for, you know, zero dollars. So that's very good. Now, moving on to Slack. Uh, Slack also has four versions. So I forgot to mention uh, prep. In terms of pricing, Asana is very simple. They only have four versions as well. So you have the free, premium, and business. The business ones are obviously, they include everything that the free has. And usually there's unlimited integrations. You get pr uh, proofing and approvals. And you also get uh, detailed analytics with those business or paid plans. But we're going to take a look at the free versions. So moving on to Slack, as I was saying, you get uh, access to 10,000 of your team's most recent messages. You get 10 integrations. So you can see a stark difference where Asana is providing us with over a hundred free integrations. Slack is only providing us with 10. So I think that's like a huge drawback for Slack. And that's why I usually don't recommend it to other people. Now, if you take a look at the detailed specs, you get uh, relevant people and channels that can search files, you get integrations, and you only get 
five gigabytes of storage which is just you know it's it's not much at all it's gonna probably end very quickly and you only get to work on one workspace so you know those boards that we created you're gonna only be able to create one and that's very disappointing in terms of slack's service because uh trello and asana provide a whole lot more for free and slack's service is not even that good to you know accept these drawbacks you know they don't provide anything that is so unique that you might want to go slack now they have the basic security and general features but uh that's why you know stay away from slack moving on to trello Trello also has four basic plans. First off, you have your free version and you get unlimited cards, unlimited members. So if you are working in a very large team and you still don't want to pay for a project management software, go for Trello. So you get unlimited members. So no matter how many members are in your team, project, task, you can use Trello. A good thing about Trello is that you can assign a singular task multiple people, which is also a very helpful thing. Now you get up to 10 boards per workspace and each person will have their own workspace. So that's like more than enough. You get unlimited power ups, you get a 10 MBs per file storage. It's the same as Asana just exactly the same as asana you get 100 mbs with asana and you only get 10 mbs per file with uh, trello so it's less than asana now you have 250 automations so that's like a huge plus point if you need automation in your project manager it's only provided for free by trello you also get custom background stickers assignee due dates your activity log backgrounds this is also available on iOS and Android and you get two-factor authentication. Now, I think both Trello and Asana are great options. I think if you're a large team, go for Trello. You have more people than 15, go for Trello. It's good, it's easy to use. But if you're working in a team that's under 15 people, go for Asana. And why I say that is because Asana has unlimited tasks, projects, activity logs, and Asana can really, really give you good optimized viewing so you have board views you have calendar views you have list views and all of these things you know these different kind of views are limited in trello so if you're a small uh, you have a small number of teammates go for asana so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to choose your project manager and i'll catch you guys in the next video